The battle for North Carolina is turning out to be one of the closest in the 2024 presidential race, with Vice President Kamala Harris continuing to get positive signs in the state that former President Donald Trump has won twice. Two polls released on Friday showed Harris and Trump tied in North Carolina, one of several battleground states that the candidates are homing in on in the final weeks before Election Day. Trump won the state and its 16 electoral votes in both 2016 and 2020, although Harris is looking to break the streak, and scandals surrounding the GOP candidate for North Carolina's gubernatorial race could help push the vice president to victory. In a survey by CNN and SSRS, based on the responses of 931 registered voters between September 20 and 25, Harris and Trump were tied in the Tar Heel state with 48% of the vote each. The same results came from a survey conducted by Meredith Poll between September 17 and 20 that was released Friday, out of 802 likely voters, the candidates were tied at 48% apiece. Kamala Harris's candidacy has returned the presidential campaign to essentially where it was in 2020, an election that will be one of the tightest in the country's history, Meredith College poll director David McLennan said in a report that accompanied the survey. A Trump victory in the Electoral College hinges on his winning North Carolina, McLennan added. The Trump campaign will continue to pour resources into the state. If Harris can squeak by and win North Carolina, her chances of winning the presidency are greatly enhanced. Nearly all recent polls have shown Harris and Trump in a neck-and-neck -neck battle for North Carolina. By 538's tracking, the former president is ahead by just 0.2 percentage points on average as of Friday. According to pollster Nate Silver's election forecasts, North Carolina has the potential to be a tipping-point state come November. The top state that candidates are battling for remains Pennsylvania, which per Silver's estimate has a 32% chance of tipping the election in either candidate's favor. North Carolina, which offers just three fewer electoral votes than Pennsylvania, has an 11% chance of doing the same. Trump's chance in North Carolina could also be tainted after Republican Lt. Gov. Mark Robinson, who is running for the state's open governor seat with Trump's endorsement, was accused of writing racist and sexist posts to a porn site years before entering the political arena. Harris's campaign has jumped on reports regarding Robinson's past controversial statements by repeatedly tying Trump to the gubernatorial candidate. Several of Robinson's top staffers have resigned since the first report on the scandal by CNN, although he continues to deny the allegations. Trump made his first public comments on the controversy surrounding Robinson during a press conference on Thursday, telling reports at his Trump Tower in Manhattan, uh, I don't know the situation.